five, four, three, two, one, lift off. The moon landing was nothing more than a Hollywood spectacle. Oh yes, we're delving into the mind-bending world of moon landing conspiracy theories. Let's unravel the top 10 pieces of evidence that some people claim proved the moon landing was faked with the help of Hollywood. And let me tell you, it's a mystery that just won't fade away. So brace yourself and keep your ear to the ground. The whole Apollo program was a complete fabrication. Any idea could have been hoaxed is quite frankly insane. Number one, the moon landing theories. In an imaginary world, it's 1969. The height of the Cold War. NASA is locked in a fierce space race with the Soviet Union. The entire world is watching, breathless with anticipation, as Apollo 11 prepares to take off for the moon. But hold on tight, because some say that the historic moonwalk was nothing but a grand illusion. The moon landing conspiracy theory was born when skeptics debated that the entire Apollo mission was an elaborate hoax staged by Hollywood wizards to show off America's supremacy in space and that the 12 Apollo astronauts did not actually walk on the moon. Bold claims indeed. Well, to support the claim, we have amassed 10 shreds of evidence that proved the moon landing was a magnificent game show by Hollywood tricksters. Number two, first evidence, the vanishing stars. The stage is set and the curtain rises on the first lunar enigma. One of the first pieces of evidence that naysayers point out that supports the moon landing theory is the apparent absence of stars in the lunar sky during the Apollo missions. Aha, they exclaim. This can't be real. Where are the stars in the inky black sky? In a place with no atmosphere to scatter light, shouldn't the stars be blazing brilliantly in the background? But let me hit you with a stellar fact. The cameras used during the moon landing were set to capture bright images of the astronauts and their equipment making the faint stars invisible to the lens. It's like trying to spot a candle in broad daylight not going to happen. Number three, the strange shadows. Next up, let's talk about the mysterious shadows in those iconic moonwalking videos. The conspiracy Sherlock eagerly analyzes every lunar step and hop, claiming that the shadows in the footage appear to be inconsistent, suggesting multiple light sources and clear foul play. But hold on, space detectives. Here's the captivating truth. The moon's surface is uneven, filled with craters and hills, causing the shadows to behave in bizarre ways. It's a celestial dance of light and darkness, not the handiwork of some Hollywood puppeteer. Number four, the fluttering flag. Time for some flag drama. Critics claim that the flag planted by the astronauts should not be fluttering since the moon has no atmosphere. They wave their accusations in the air, but let me drop a truth bomb. That flag was specially designed with a horizontal rod to keep it extended, resulting in that brief movement when planted. A symbol of pride was coerced into being proof of deception. Number five, the unlikely film studio. Now, you might wonder, could Hollywood really have pulled off such an audacious hoax well, creating a lunar set with the technology available in the 1960s would have been an even greater feat than going to the moon. Achieving the level of realism seen in the Apollo footage would require a massive studio with groundbreaking visual effects that simply didn't exist back then. It's like trying to create Avatar before computers were even a thing, an awe-inspiring notion but one that bends the bounds of possibility. Number six, the Van Allen belts. Aha, the Van Allen belts. Some conspiracy hunters argue that the deadly Van Allen belts, radioactive bands encircling Earth, would have been fatal to the astronauts, preventing them from reaching the moon. But wait for it, NASA, scientists were well aware of this cosmic obstacle. They carefully calculated the safest trajectory to minimize the time spent in the radiation zones. It's like navigating a treacherous sea with a well-charted course, and the Apollo crew sailed through like true explorers. Number seven, 
the missing impact crater. Let's take a leap onto the lunar surface. Critics demand answers. Why aren't there any impact craters from the lunar module landing? But the lunar stage is set, and the answer is truly out of this world. The lunar module's descent engine had a low thrust and fired at a height of about 30 feet, creating a gentle landing. The moon's surface, covered in a layer of fine dust and debris, acted like a cushion, preventing a massive crater from forming. The 12 Apollo astronauts landed on a bed of petals soft and graceful. Weird, super weird. Number eight, the tethered astronauts. The suspense builds as we delve into the astronauts' movements on the moon. Conspiracy theorists wag their fingers, insisting the astronauts move as if they're tethered to a studio floor. Do you want to know how it transpired? Well, those brave space pioneers wore hefty spacesuits, restricting their movements and making them look like moonwalking superheroes. Number 9. The Whispered Conversations The conspiracy theorists love to point out that in the moonwalk footage, the astronauts' voices sound clear and crisp, despite the lack of air for sound to travel through. But here's the audio allure. The astronauts wore communications headsets inside their helmets allowing them to communicate directly with mission control on Earth. So, while the moon was a silent vacuum, they had a hotline to Houston, a cosmic hotline, even in the silent void of space. They were never truly alone. Number 10, the absence of follow-up. Lastly, skeptics raise an eyebrow, wondering why humans haven't returned to the moon after the Apollo missions, if they indeed landed there. Let me spill the moonlit truth. The Apollo program faced budget cuts, shifting priorities and geopolitical changes, leading to its eventual discontinuation. But hey, that doesn't mean it never happened. Number 11. The Mysterious Film Crosshairs Welcome to the cosmic finale. This one's a head-scratcher for sure. The conspiracy theory also zooms in on the photographs taken during the moon missions and points to something peculiar mysterious crosshairs superimposed on the images. Aha, they exclaim. These are evidence of Photoshop trickery. But here's the lunar revelation. Those crosshairs were intentionally placed on the camera lenses to help measure distances and provide reference points for scientific analysis. Concluding thoughts. And there you have it, the top 10 pieces of evidence that some claim proved the moon landing was faked with Hollywood's magic touch. Yet, as we've ventured through each enigmatic twist, we've also illuminated the scientific truths and realities that underpin these claims. If this journey left you starstruck and thirsting for more, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to join us on more celestial adventures. And hey, if there's a cosmic riddle you'd like us to unravel, leave it in the comments below. This is your host, signing off with Stardust and Wonder.